Hey, what's going on, crypto people? It is the Crypto Siege with another day in the life and a crazy life that is a digital asset space. Good morning. Uh, happy, what is this, Tuesday to each and every one of you. It is June 14th, 10 to 55 a.m. Central Time uh, that I'm recording this video. The market, again, is uh, doing what the market does. We'll go over that. A lot of interesting stuff on Twitter store already is going at the SEC. We'll, we'll get into a little bit of that. Uh, a little bit more information on what's going on with Celsius Network and uh, what it's going to look like uh, for people, whether they uh, uh, are in fact insolvent or not, we really don't know. We'll talk a little bit about that. It is a very, very scary time for people who are depositors and um, borrowers on uh, that Celsius Network. I can tell you that for sure. Coinbase is in the news um, as well. So it looks like Coinbase and BlockFi are um, having to deal with the market turn now and uh, just a really crazy numbers going on in, the, in uh, all of the markets and um, whether it be the NASDAQ or crypto, it doesn't matter, real estate is about to start to, to, to uh, go down as well. So very, very interesting time to be uh, an early adopter. This new asset class is a digital asset space for sure. And I just got to tell you, if you are in a position where you can uh, no longer be uh, in, a, in a margin loan. Uh, certainly, you want to definitely cut out that leverage trading. If you're doing that on these derivative exchanges, you definitely want to be done with those. Two. It doesn't even matter anymore. Certainly, the high on uh, the 5X, 6X, 10X, and so you want to be out of those without question. All right, guys. So, listen, um, this is your XRP Ripple daily news in around zero to freaking 10 minutes. Uh, yeah, Polygon, look at that. My guy again called it. All right, so let's look at um, 39 cents to 43 cents. Let's look at the market. Uh, goodness gracious, it's at one trillion dollars. One trillion. Ooh, look at Bitcoin again. Bitcoin dominance is at 43.1 percent. The total cryptocurrency market is at one trillion dollars. One trillion. It's down two trillion dollars. Down two trillion dollars. Two trillion dollars. Wow. Bitcoin's at twenty two thousand six hundred eighty three dollars. It's down twenty seven percent on a seven day. Ethereum is at twelve hundred and forty five dollars. Some expected it to go lower than that. Um, Bitcoin did hit the two hundred week moving average, which is very very interesting. XRP is at 32 cents, 32 freaking cents. Polka dots at 20 uh, to $7, down 21% on the seven day. It's going to be an interesting, interesting turn around when and if it turns around. Uh, yeah, so the market, a lot of double figure rights. I mean, XCN is down 43%. That was one of the main gainers through most of the market. So a lot of double figure reds, guys, just all over the space. So some more, more information about the Celsius network. Um, uh, the clauses and terms in there uh, are not, um, um, They, I don't know what the, I guess you would say they're alarming. It's a way for um, Celsius to, uh, um, I don't know. It's, it's a way to uh, kind of protect themselves, but it hurts. It hurts, hurts both the depositors and the uh, borrowers. I would do. I would say this. Um, uh, they're going to figure out a way. My guess is they're going to figure out a way um, to either be um, kind of bought out or bought. Um, so that the depositors, you know, they certainly don't want the depositors to be, um, to lose, right? To lose their crypto. So you could, you, I can't, I, I feel confident about that. It's just what are they going to do to make sure that that happens? Uh, you know, when you call customer service, it, it's kind of, you know, your funds are safe. Um, the only way you, you lose your stuff as if um, you get a margin call, you know, and, you know, it goes in the liquid, you hit that liquidation price, you know, that kind of standard stuff is what they're saying. Um, so that, you know, everyone's in limbo because they got to wait to see if, um, 
if Celsius can get some help, my guess is that they will. Um, that's my guess. My guess is that they will get one or two partners to um, help to make them, um, you know, get them out of the hole that they are in uh, for sure. So that's what it's looking like. The state E thing has really kind of got them in a bind um, with Lido. So that's my guess. I, I have no guarantees. I don't know what is going to go on in the market there. Um, it's going to be tough for them. Um, I think if they do get the partnerships, I think they're going to come out and say that they did. And they're also going to they're going to point to the mistakes that they made, uh, whether that be over leveraged, you know, uh, in, in the DeFi space with Lido. Um, I think that they will point that out that they were just, you know, they were over leveraged. Um, they were in a very, very great position in that they were able to provide tens and tens and tens of thousands of Ethereum so that the stake ETH, you know, thing could happen. Um, but it is really feeling like they got themselves in a, a position that the market market conditions hurt them just like it hurt, uh, it hurt all of us. And so uh, they're going to have to come up with a uh, I don't know about a different model, but uh, uh, certainly a less riskier one, right? They want to be in DeFi and, um, right, and trying to get yields. But when the market turns, uh, it could be challenging if you're in a, in a bad spot and they were in a bad spot. So um, with over a million customers and worth as much asset under management that they had at one time, uh, I think that people in a position uh, to take a position in the company um, can see it. I, I, I think they understand that. Um, so I think that's what, what's going to happen. I don't, I don't know how else, because it's a matter of time too, right? The longer something drawn, uh, drawn what is the word I'm looking for? The longer it takes uh, to come to some type of resolution of just the worst of a look that it is. And, uh, you know, so they're gonna to wanna to try to get something done uh, quickly. Um, Alex does have um, lots of friends in high places and um, he has good connections. And so they'll see, we'll see how it goes. But right now that is kind of the word on the street. I thought this was interesting from um, Ms. Wustan on Twitter about the demand for XRP um, during these difficult times. Um, it's like only two assets that uh, kind of had this kind of high demand. And as he's been uh, at Creek um, 7, he says, alt season roadmap vid, demand for XRP is increasing compared with Bitcoin and Ethereum. Only two are green. I'm reserving this for some time. I wouldn't need at least 100 words to properly explain what I see, but I believe you guys have an idea. So was XRP and DXY uh, the only ones in the green in terms of a demand demand for that asset uh yeah so eric Vore, he's pointed out something you can say what you want the reason why for who, you know who knows but this is what she says it's said that 20 percent of block five's employees had to be laid off they let off 20 percent of their people because the sec stole 100 million dollars from them he says when they did nothing wrong so yeah 20 percent of the employees in sec you know that that quote unquote settlement <laughs> uh 400 million dollars yeah it can hurt a company right so they had to lay off people so the sec is trying to protect people they're trying to protect you and i I mean, tell that to the people at BlockFi. Yeah. Elena Terra says, scoop industry sources with knowledge of the matter. Tell me the SEC has sent letters to several crypto exchanges inquiring about a lack of insider trading safeguards. Uh, uh, it is without a fact. It is without question a fact that you know, these derivative exchanges especially are trading against their depositors. That's a fact, undeniable fact. Stuart, I already put this out four years since the infamous <laughs> Hemman speech, and we're nowhere closer on knowing how to classify digital assets in the U.S., keeping every crypto, including ETH, in regulatory limbo. I penned some thoughts for Fortune, why enough is uh, enough. 
and it says here, Fortune, I can't, obviously can't get the article, but it says Ripple's general counsel, Henman's speech muddied the crypto waters and he believed it to be an intentional. Intentional, uh, Craig Dewitt said, great piece, uh, Stuart. Although waiting on the correction for today, global crypto markets are measured in the trillions. She said too soon. I don't know what that means. So there it is there. Interesting stuff from Stuart Alderati. Intentional. Of course, it was muddying it, making it gray. Absolutely. So they could expand their jurisdiction. Everybody knows the people in Congress know it as well. Uh, Stefan Huber says the worst thing for the SEC will not be the corruption under him and Clayton but how the SEC under Gensler tried to cover it up and sweep it under the table and pursue their long lost corrupt agenda with all their power. I was watching BitBoy um, Crypto today. He was on EYL, Earn Your Leisure channel, YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, he said that SEC is the most corrupt organization in the history of government. Yeah, that's just not a great look. Somebody says here, this is why against the will go down as the most corrupt SEC chairman in history. And they'll probably make him the secretary treasury, secretary of the treasury as well. So in addition to BlockFi and what they're having to do, and I believe Nexo, I believe Nexo is laying off people as well. Don't quote me on that. Coinbase is laying off people. Coinbase CEO Brian Armstrong announced today the difficult to this the difficult decision to reduce the size of the Coinbase team by 18%. 18 percent, which is uh, roughly 900 people or so. Today, I shared that I've made the difficult decision to reduce the size of our team at Coinbase by 18%. The broader market turn down means that we need to be more mindful of costs as we head into a potential recession. We also grew quite quickly over the past two years and have begun to operate less efficiently at our new size. It will take us some time to adjust to this new scale before growing again. We've put some key programs in place to try and minimize the impact to our affected employees. There it is. 18%, that's it's roughly somewhere between 900 and 1,100 people will be laid off. Will be will be let go. And that is a very and that's a very 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 difficult thing. Uh, oh no, I wanted to share uh, Tony Edwards' tweet. A lot of people will leave the crypto market this week. Those who stay and learn about market cycles and accumulate in the downtimes will cross a life changing threshold. I agree, one thousand <laughs> percent. Oh, Miss Intuitive, Leo DiCaprio. <laughs> we ain't leaving. Oh, I love it. Jeremy Hogan, I had just to say about John Deaton. Uh, John put this out again. I guess it's kind of like a re-put out. I, I've also been granted a Miki Curie status on behalf of XRP Hose by Judge Torres. In the case, respectfully, what forms the basis or foundation underlying your sense that XRP holders are relying on F as a ripple? So it's kind of, you know, oh, probably this is uh, either duty or uh, the Denton guy that John's responding to. Jeremy said, Attorney Deaton tore apart the argument that XRP is a security so hard that the original tweet he was responding to has been erased from existence. <laughs> Yeah, John Deaton is on it. So we're, 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 we're lucky to have him for sure representing XRP holders. And look at Brad Gawley House hanging out at the game. I don't know which game this was. It was this last night, but look at him hanging out there. Ripple CEO Brad Garling House giving a high five. And thank you to um, at Charlie Ninja 23 who put this out. Ripple CEO Brad Garling House giving a high five to Draymond Green. Glad he's enjoying life. XRP, let's go. Yeah, I, I was probably last night. Interesting that they caught that. And then, of course, you know, 
Squawk Boss has to cover it. Breaking Coinbase plans to lay off 18, 18% of its workforce due to the crash in crypto prices. And, and the, 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 uh, the stock COIN is not great. This is a great point from Dan P here. It says, all these companies laying off in this current market while Ripple is hiring 650 people. <laughs> Probably no thing. <laughs> oh, man. Probably nothing. Here's our, our guy um, kind of giving the word here, Brian Brooks on. I don't know if he's responding in, 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 in reference to Celsius or not, but take a look at what he says here. And I've been saying for two or three years now that in crypto, a lot of the projects you see going on here are going to go to zero. But there are Amazon.coms in there somewhere, right? Things, you know, the major protocol layers, the significant network technologies, those are going to make it out here stronger than ever two years from now. But things are going to get shaken out now. The scams, the charlatans, the easy money guys, those people are going to get shaken out in the next six months. And you're starting to see that now. And I've been saying for. Yeah, and that is a great point. I'm going to end the video on that note as well. Here's what I will say about Alex Mashinsky. This is a guy who has a reputation for unicorns, right? Not just a successful CEO, but a, a, um, a I mean, unicorn, right? This guy is a unicorn uh, manufacturer, right? I mean, I mean, time and time again. And this is either going to be Celsius was his third or fourth unicorn, right? Billions of dollars in valuations. And I think that that will speak, right? That will speak volumes for the potential partners they partner or partners that they will look to bring in. And so I, I really do believe that and we'll just have to see how it goes. So guys, listen, that is your wrap up of your XRP daily news, XRP Ripple daily news in around zero to 10 minutes. I am going to end this video like I end all of my videos and remind you guys of this. Hold money doesn't want you to win. They don't want us to win. They would rather that we remain a cog in their perpetual wheel of trading our time for dollars. They don't want us to play in the same playground that they play in where we allow our money to work for us. This is our chance to win, guys. The digital asset space is our chance to win. We are in the midst of the greatest transfer of wealth in the history of man. Are you participating or are you standing on the sidelines? Here's what I do know, that the battle for you has already been fought and the victory is yours. Go get it.